All right, so this is about the TVM solver. This is a little computer or a calculator application that we're going to use throughout the rest of this chapter. Um, so you just get it by going to, come on, apps here, and then finance first option. You hit that, and then your first option is TVM solver, and that's what you hit. It gives you this screen, which looks very similar to this. So what we're going to do, first explain. So the N is the number of conversion periods. So if it like, let's say, converted, uh, compounded every month for 10 years, maybe 12 months times 10 years, that's actually 120 compoundings. So this is the number of periods. Or this. Then it's important that you remember that it's times per year times number of years. This is your interest rate as a percentage. Okay, so if it's 8%, you'd actually put an 8 here. This is your starting amount. PV stands for present value. This is your payment. So if you're making payments along the way, or like if you're off a car loan, um, that would be a, the payments there. And that's going to be, um, so those are your payments. We won't use that in the first couple of examples. And then this is your future value. So what you want to end up with. If you're paying off a loan, so if it's like a mortgage or a car loan type problem, you want your future value to be zero. So you may start owing some money and want to end up with a future value of zero, or you may invest some money and you want to see how much you end up with later. Or you know that you want to invest money and end up with a certain amount, that's what you would enter here, and then figure out how many payments you need to make or whatever. This is the um, payments per year. And then this is the compoundings or the conversions per year. And uh, so if it was monthly, this would be a 12. If it was weekly, this would be a 52, that kind of thing. And these are always going to be the same as each other. And then the one more really important thing is the PV and the FV, one has to be negative. Okay? Or if it's zero, it doesn't matter. But if there's a number here, and there's a number here, then one of them will be negative. Okay? So this is where it helps to actually listen and not just look at all the things I write. So here, we got this problem. If we were going to have invest $100, it's going to be compounded once a year for five years at a rate of 10%. Our formula would look like 100 times 1 plus 0.10 over 1, because it's only once per year, then 1 times 5 years. And that's going to give us uh, this. So we calculate that. There we go. So we should get 161 and 5 cents. So now let's use the TVM solver. What we're going to do is go back to our calculator and try this. So you use the apps, the finance, the TVM solver. And I've already plugged this in. Actually, I tried to. It should be a 10. All right, so five years times once per year. Interest rates 10%, starting amounts 100, and our future value, it's once per year. So what we'll do now is go down to future value, and I'm going to hit alpha, so this button here, alpha, and then hit enter. So it says solve there, alpha, enter, solves for future value. And remember, I said one. if this is positive, this has to be negative. But we get the exact same. Come on. Uh, get the exact same answer, 161.051. So that calculator can do the formula for us. In fact, this program does a lot of the things for us that makes it a lot easier. So let's check out another example. Um, on your handout, you'll see that this is changed to a 12 Blah, 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 blah. So we're going to say it's compounded monthly, which requires this to be a 12 and this to be a 12. All right. So now our n isn't going to equal 18. Our n is going to equal 18 times 12. So I want to have, I want to end up with $100,000 for Genevieve for her to go to school because it's going to be wicked expensive then. So I got to 
if I invest it when she's born, 18 years later, hopefully she graduates on time, goes to college. Um, it's going to be an 8% interest rate I'm saying I can get. So this is how you would do it. You go to your TVM solver, and we're going to plug in. That doesn't help. i got to leave this up here. So it's 18. What's this? Um, the N is going to be, for real, 18 times 12. What's that? I don't know. I'm just going to have the calculator figure it out for me. And then we need to know the interest rate is 8. The payment is 0. The future value we want to be 100. We don't know the present value. So what we're going to do, what the? I don't know why my computer is being wicked slow and annoying. All right, so we want 12 times per year times 18 years. If you enter it like that, it will solve it for you. There you go, 216. The interest rate is 8%. Uh, we don't know how much we're investing. In fact, that's what we're solving for, so I'm just going to put a zero there for now. Our future value, we want to be 100,000, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros and it's compounded monthly so we change this to a 12 and that end begin thing I'll explain it in class but just always leave it on end end so now we want to figure out what the present value or what do we need to invest initially to get that so we hit alpha solve and we need to invest twenty three thousand eight hundred and six dollars if we invest that at 8%, then in 18 years we'll have 100 grand. So, one more example here. All right, so suppose we have $1,250 and we want it to double. So, double that would be $2,500. You can earn 9% per year on your investment, let's say. Um, and let's say this is compounded, we'll just say once a year again. So, what we're going to do is go to our TVM solver. Here are n is going to equal just, oh, we don't know what our n is. That's what we're looking for. So our PV is going to be 1250. Our FV is going to be 2500. Our payments are zero. We're going to switch these back to one because it's just saying we're compounding it once a year. And then we're going to solve for n. Actually, we're going to do, my bad, it's 12 times a year because we're going to compound it monthly. So we go back to here. We're going to, uh, I'll just put zero there because I'm solving for it. I don't know when that's going to be. Interest rate is 9%. And then our investment initially is 1250. Um, the PV and the FV have to be opposite signs. So I'm going to make this negative. Where's my negative sign here? All right, so I'm going to make that negative. Uh, 2500 that's just because of the way the program works and then we'll leave it on 12 conversions per year so we want to solve for the time so what we're gonna do is just hit alpha solve on the n and that gives us 92.76 it's not gonna take 92 years because remember the 92 represents oh come on of course it did that's a 92 that equals the number of payments per year times number of years. And this was a 12. So what we have to do is divide this by number of payments per year, and that gives us a 7.67, 66 or 67. So that's how many years it's going to take for us to invest 1250 at 9% growth compounded tw uh, 12 times a year to get to 2500. All right, so using that information, see if you guys can finish up the rest of the uh, worksheet. So do this practice and then do this fourth example. All right, good luck.